Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to explain how to upgrade the firmware on your new Canon EOS RP mirrorless um, digital camera. So uh, in some cases uh, you the upgrade of the firmware is uh, like uh, optional but on this specific camera it is required. Why is it required? Because it doesn't support the new released 50 millimeter uh, 1.8 f 1.8 um, lens unless you upgrade the firmware so let's see I'm going to explain to you and show it to you uh, to basically understand what happens when you try to put this lens in this camera so watch what happens and then I will tell you why you need to upgrade the firmware Okay, so I got the lens out and as soon as I put the lens in, remember every time when you change the lens, put the camera down or sideways, not this way because dust will go inside your sensor and the, no matter how good of a sensor cleaning you do, it never is the same as the factory cleaning. So, alright. So make sure the red dot matches like that to the top and twist to the right and there we go and now I'm going to remove this and show you what happens when I turn it on okay watch read that attached lens may not work properly because it is supported it is not supported by the camera firmware Please see lens manual for Canon website for details. Okay, the lens manual doesn't say anything about firmware. Now the the the, the lens works and everything. Don't get me wrong, but it's not communicating as good as it should communicate, uh, as far as focusing and you know metering and all that. So basically, the requ uh, the firmware upgrade is required. How do we know what the firmware is? and how to upgrade it. That's first what I'm going to show you. Okay, to upgrade the firmware, make sure you put this back to P and uh, it was in video and make sure you turn it on. Okay, when you turn it on, you get the same message again. Click OK. And now what you need to do is go to menu and you see that wrench icon. So normally when you go to menu, you're, this, is, this is what you're gonna get. Scroll to the right, go to the wrench icon. And when you go to the wrench icon, go to the sixth option, this one. This right here shows the firmware of the camera, which is 1.5, okay? And what we need to do is we need to upgrade this uh, for, to the latest version, which I believe it's 1.6 or 1.7 but I, I'm not sure. Let's go to the Canon website and find out together, okay? So we are going to Canon website right now and in the search bar, in the search section, we will type Canon camera support and you go to www.canonusa.canon.com. That depends which country you are in. Of course, this is for the North American support. You click on support click on software and driver let's close that one and then you want to go to cameras and then you want to go to EOS and Rebel cameras and you want to go to EOS R and you want to go to EOS RP in my case which is an EOS RP here you will have software and firmware you click on the firmware in the firmware 1.6 is the latest one so this is the one I need to download. In order to download, I click on select. When I select, I have read and agree to the disclaimer and download. The download has started right here. So I'm going to close this and right click on this, uh, on, on this thing and go to show and folder. Right click, show and folder. You will see it in the folder where it has been downloaded. Now right click on it and extract it. Extract it. You can extract extract it to the root directory or change 
to a different directory. Okay, so this is the extracted file, which is eosrp160.firmware, FIR. We will right click on this and we will copy it. And now we will put that on the SD card, which we took out of the camera. That SD card is here. So we double click on the SD card. This is where the pictures are, DCIM and all that. We will put it on the root directory, which means outside all these folders. So basically right next to the folders, not inside them. We right click and paste. When we right click and paste, this is the root directory of the SD card, which came out of the camera. Now we will put this SD card inside the camera. Okay, so we will put this SD card, which has that file, we will put this SD card inside the camera. Okay, so let's do that and see what happens. Let me open the SD card compartment, which is also the battery compartment. We put the card in, close it, and turn the camera on. Click OK. We go back to that same page where the firmware is, but now we will hit enter. Okay, so that's the lens firmware. This is the camera firmware. We click on the camera firmware. Current firmware is version 1.5, uh, and update firmware, you click uh, OK. 1.5.0, and we want to update it. Okay, it's loading the firmware. Make sure your battery is fully charged because the last thing you want is the battery to die in the middle of firmware update, which could ruin your camera. You don't want to brick your camera. These cameras are way too expensive to break them by mistake. Firmware updating progress, or I should say process, is fairly quick. Okay, so it says, uh, firmware update program. Please select new firmware. So the, the one, at ha which is uh, the version 1.160, is it has been selected already. It has been highlighted. So I'm going to hit enter, the, the, the center button. And now it's telling me update from 1.6 to 1.5 to 1.6. I click OK. This, this is the actual firmware upgrade pro process. This is so critical for the camera battery not to die on you. Now, um, I made sure my battery is charged, but uh, I, honestly, I didn't see if it was 100% or not. So I'm going to fast forward this part. Uh, one more thing I feel it's important to mention is that during the firmware pr uh, upgrade process, you don't want to mess around with the buttons or turn off the power or fool around with the lens uh, because this is the time that the camera does not need. Uh, the, camera, the camera is like a computer. Every button you press, it's like another input or another command. And you don't want to interfere with the upgrade process by pressing buttons and uh, moving knobs on what have you. So basically be patient. Uh, I just want to let you know that the process, I was uh, guessing it would have taken a minute or so. It actually took over two minutes. So the process is quite long. Uh, the firmware size is pretty big. You know, it takes longer than what I thought. It's almost there. It's up to 99% now. And we are done. We click OK. Okay, so now it's update it to the newest firmware I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on for the new firmware to load and tada I don't have that message anymore that the lens is supposedly too new for the firmware of this camera and my new EOS um, RP um, 50 millimeter lens is up and running and functional with the new firmware okay i hope uh, this was educational and you learn a thing or two from this please make sure to like and subscribe thank you for watching